Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today, what I'm going to do is give you my rendition of how to um, not actually use, but to set up to use a LM7905 regulator. That's the negative regulator. The, the uh, 7805 is the positive regulator. The, this gives out a negative voltage where the 78 gives off a positive voltage. I scoured all over the, in the internet. Nobody else that speaks English has done a video on the 7905 negative regulator and how to set it up. Half a dozen of these um, Indian guys, um, when they set it up, they absolutely set it up wrong to the point where I know that they shortened the video because that 7905 was getting so freaking hot and it was burning up their power supply because they were wiring it wrong. And uh, after you see this, go and see some of those Indian guys and you'll see what I mean. They totally botched um, a lot of it. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I set up a 7905 negative output regulator. Um, to work and it's not going to blow up on my bench and I don't need a, a huge freaking heat sink like some of these Indian guys do because they're not wiring it up right. Uh, so I'm not going to bore you too much more on this so let's get right down here to the workbench and I'll show you how I, uh, how I wire up a LM7905 negative uh, voltage regulator. I'm going to I'm going to use a, uh, a 12 volt uh, wall wart, wall wart um, power supply to uh, power this up. So let's go down here on the bench. Okay guys, back here at the bench. So now I just wanted to show you a couple um, schematics that I wrote up here for the 7905 and over here I got the 7805. So if you notice here, um, the input voltage is 12 volts and the output voltage is 5 volts. Okay, The input voltage, the negative, goes to pin 2, the positive to pin 1, and then the, the pin 3 is the negative for the output voltage whereas the positive for the output voltage is also the same as the positive for the input voltage goes straight through all right keep that in your mind uh, pause it and then write that down and let me just refresh your memory on a 7805 where again positive goes to pin 1 negative goes to pin 2 all right the, the negative of the input voltage is the same negative of the output voltage, but on a 7805, the positive comes out of pin 3, whereas on a 7905, the negative comes out on pin 3. Now, do you follow along what I'm getting at? This is a negative regulator. This is a positive regulator. All right. So now... This is how we're going to wire it up. I got my 7905 right here, and I'm just going to pop that down on the breadboard. And right here, you'll notice, now I'm going to get you right in there close so you can watch along here. Now I'm going to focus you. I'm going to get that more in the center. Uh, <laughs> uh. There we go. How's that? Is that good, guys? All right. So now, this is the input voltage, and this is going to be the output voltage. And this is our regulator. The pin one is all the way up here. So if you're looking at if you're looking at the regulator, pin one is all the way on the left. The writing is right here on the front. Pin one is all the way over on the left. So let me put that back on the back on the board. So, following along with our schematic, you guys can follow along with me. Pin 1 is the positive of the input voltage. I mean, the out, yeah, input voltage, I'm sorry. And that goes to pin 1. Let me just make sure I put it in the right spot. All right, pin 2 is your negative from your input voltage. Pin 3 is the negative to the output voltage. So I'm going to put that over on this rail. 
okay that's the rail over here this is your your input rail this is the output and then this is this other voltmeter is going to light up over here and then the again to to refresh you oh man that's way too close your positive goes right through so the positive from the input voltage is also the positive of the output voltage so I'll go in positive from the input voltage rail and I'll put it to the output rail and that says 25 degrees so let me <laughs> set, set it to the voltmeter and now we're at 5.2 so we're putting in 13.9 and we're getting out 5.2 okay guys um, the, other, the other thing I like to do on these circuits is I like to take a one microfarad capacitor and I put it across the input voltage and I take a one micro uh, microfarad capacitor and I put it across the output voltage that just smooths it out a little bit and gets rid of you know the uh, the DC ripple especially because of that wall wart that I'm using for a power supply I just like to smooth out the power a little bit and uh, if you want to get fancy you can take and uh, we can take a current limiting resistor and put it from positive out here to the rail and we'll add a LED into the whole situation now which one's my positive there it is and we can go from there to over here and now now we got a nice LED okay guys that is how you wire up a 7905 negative voltage regulator okay and we got 13.9 input and a 5.2 output all right and uh, hey guys if you would like to uh, purchase one of these 7905s I got 7908s I got all kinds of uh, voltage regulators let me know down below and I can get them to you real cheap all right and I can also sell you these uh, voltmeters too they're not only a voltmeter um, you got voltmeter here then it's there's the time there's the date that's temperature unfortunately it's not Fahrenheit it's uh, Celsius only you hit it again and it comes back to the voltage so it's time date temperature and a voltage and they're pretty cool little devices and if you like uh, like any of this stuff on the board just let me know I got I got quite a few different uh, um, electronics that uh, I could sell to you really cheap you know basically what I'm gonna do is sell it to you cheap and also say save you on the postage because DigiKey and stuff like that you buy one device and they want like $12 shipping but anyways leave a message down below if you're interested so guys uh, ring that bell ding 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 subscribe buy me a coffee and again it's all about you and thanks for watching guys